Hi, so I'm Caroline Gorski. I am the Director for Global Ecosystem and Partnerships for R Squared Data Labs, which is part of Rolls-Royce. So for R Squared Data Labs, I guess one of the challenges we face, right, is that in this digital world, everything is moving really, really fast. There are new markets evolving every day, there are new technologies coming out, uh, business models are changing, and, and disruption is happening to, to many of the key territories that, that we operate in, the key customer areas that we operate in. In that context of that really fast-moving, technologically advanced environment, it's very hard to build the kind of skills that we would need to have this world-class capability in-house. It's very expensive and it would take us an incredibly long time. And so for us to be able to achieve what we want to achieve, we really need to work out how we can be smart about collaborating with the outside marketplace, with, with what we call an ecosystem. How we can find the smart organisations, whether they're really big ones or really small ones, that that we want to work with, that we want to partner with, to help us to deliver transformational value through data innovation to our customers, both our internal customers and also to our external customers in the marketplace. So our ecosystem partnerships might evolve from um, very deep strategic relationships that we may have with, with what you would recognize to be kind of large scale technology providers, like for example, TCS or, or Microsoft, all the way through to you know, really small, innovative, nimble uh, startups or, or near startup businesses who have uh, interesting technology uh, adaptions or capabilities that, that we would really struggle to build internally at the kind of speed that they can generate them. Um, and through across that, that sort of range of types of relationships. We'll also be partnering with international governments to, to understand how we can unlock innovation funding revenues to help us to, to deliver the innovation that, that we, we want to. We'll be working with funding uh, providers, from example, from the venture capital markets or from other private funding activity, possibly in, in, in formal consortium relationships, possibly in more open collaborative partnerships. And we'll be working also with, with organisations who have really interesting data sets that they might want to share with us or we want, might want to bring in to complement the data that we have and we might create those in ways that deliver value to our business but we might also create you know data sharing propositions that allow us to deliver value outwards to customers in the wider marketplace often on a, on a, on a co-sharing co-created co uh, basis with some of those organizations in the context of how we work with our end customers collaboration Obviously, it delivers some specific, immediate things, right? We can build better services because we have access to a greater range of, of technology capability. Uh, we can move faster because we can, we can leverage up and down. We can be much more flexible as an organization than would be the case if we were trying to do all of this internally. So we can be more responsive and we can design and deliver better technological solutions. But actually, although those are immediate customer-facing benefits, I think the bigger benefit is in what happens to us as an organization and how we become more flexible, more adaptive, more open-minded, more capable of innovation. And, and all of those behavioural opportunities will influence our relationship with our customers in just the same way as they influence our relationship with our ecosystem in the market.